Jenny Chap. We are live from L.A. I love the holiday music. I'm Jenny Chap here with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Good morning. How are we doing, guys? Good morning. Good morning. How you doing, Skip? What, what is that? <laughs> oh, you saw it last night. Huh? You saw it last night, right? I, you know what? I saw the Lakers. They look so good. I think we should just call off the regular season and just wait for the playoffs, they, right? They did look good. Yeah. I must admit, it's I know, over. I know it's the preseason. It's over. And I don't like to put too much yeah. emphasis on the You know what? We should just call this show off. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> nothing to talk about. Uh, we, we have hate. plenty to talk about today. How about we do talk about the Lakers because Shannon's got a big smile on his face. LeBron. Anthony Davis made their preseason debut last night against the Suns. Both stars played limited minutes and combined for 21 total points. The Lakers would end up winning 112 to 107 thanks to Kyle Kuzma being a focal point with a game high 23 points and Taylor Horton Tucker dropping 18. So Shannon, how did LeBron and your Lakers look? Um, Skip, uh, the first quarter, you can tell it, this, it's been a while. I mean, they took off the first two preseason games. So both guys, I mean, especially LeBron, LeBron was a little rusty. But come second quarter, he got it going. Mm. And I think uh, Frank, uh, Frankie V had told him, look, guys, you're going to play, you know, anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. You're going to get a first half, and then you're going to take the second half off. And I think both of those guys picked it up in the second quarter. LeBron got that fadeaway going. You know once he gets that fadeaway going, mm. and you're at his mercy. Mm. Because you're so concerned about him, Skip, getting down here, getting to the basket. Mm. And then all of a sudden, he get that dream shake on you. Mm. It was good night, Irene. Mikael mm. Bridges had to find out out the hard way. I don't know who Irene yeah, is, but whoever she is, good night. <laughs> Irene. <laughs> it, yep. it was over. He dropped one on DeAndre Ayton also. Yep. But I like what I love what I saw, Skip. This team is really, really deep now. The bench got almost 60 points. Uh, as Jenny mentioned in the read, um, Kuz, 23 points. Look good. You know, I'm about to take about all the bad things that I said about Kuz. I'm about mm. to have to take those back. <laughs> really? I got no problem with that. All but you know, Skip, but you know who that guy is. Mm. That old dynamite. T-H-T. Mm. Oh, T-H-T. He about to explode, Skip. Against the third team, he there, did. There you go. See, he you did. Like yeah, <laughs> against guys I'd never heard of. He was great. <laughs> it don't matter. Mm. Building confidence. That's what mm. we do. We build confidence. Mm. But I like what I saw, Skip. Uh, and this notion, can we put this to bed, Skip? I know we, there's an article that's being floated out there by the Atlantic about who's going to be the starting point guard. Mm. Let that go. Mm. Let that go. Here's a man that won his fourth finals mm. MVP, led the league in assists. He was the unanimous first team all NBA. He finished second in the MVP voting. And you think someone else is going to come in and all of a sudden he's going to go. That's, I mean, have you, that's, is that the most, one of the most after 15 things you've ever heard? I know after nine, after 10, mm -hmm. after, that's, that's ridiculous. But LeBron and AD look good. It's going to take a while. They got one more game, play for, uh, Friday night, same team. Mm. I kind of like this, Skip. I kind of like playing, you know, playing two, because I think that's how they're going to do it. Mm. You go somewhere, you're going to play, you know, three days, play that team back-to-back, -back, and then keep it moving. So I kind of like this this setup right now, but I love what I saw from the Lakers. Mm. Go, James, and be ready. Come Tuesday mm. night. Really? Up, hang a banner and get a dub. Really? Yep. And get a dub. Yep. And maybe get four or five rest breaks during the game, because you <laughs> might need them on Tuesday night when it's real, when it counts. So I will get to Dennis Schroeder in just a moment and respond to your comments about Dennis Schroeder's comments about wanting to be a starter and maybe even the starting point guard for the <laughs> Lakers. But first of all, my first shock of the night last night was in LeBron James' first action of this preseason, he looked shockingly out of condition to me, and I did not see that coming. But it has been a short the all-time shortest offseason. Mm -hmm. He was celebrating for a while. He had his cigars. Mm -hmm. He has his nightly wine. Occasionally he has a little tequila when he does the road trip and podcast, yep. right? Mm -hmm. And I guess it's one thing to play horse in the backyard with Bronny, and it's quite another to actually play an NBA basketball game, even a preseason game against the Suns, and try to guard Mikel Bridges or Jay Crowder or maybe even occasionally Devin Booker, Correct. right? Yes. And so I was a little surprised when LeBron actually waved out. He, with, with five minutes and 15 seconds left, he waved to the bench in the first quarter and said, I, I, I need a rest. I'm not, I need I'm a blow. Not, Skip, you and I both know nothing gets you in shape for playing a particular sport yep. except playing that sport. Okay. So I'm sure they've gone up and down some in their, their intra-squad scrimmages, but nothing like this. Right. So, so I was a little surprised. At, at how he did not have his NBA legs because usually 
we, he's been posting a lot of videos. I'm back in the lab. I'm, yeah, I'm doing let, this and I'm doing that. Yeah. I'm sure he's hitting the weights, but I don't know about if he's hitting the cardio that hard in the off season. Don't know about that. So if we could see his first four shots before he waved out, tell me this didn't look a little bit ungoatish, <laughs> just a little bit unlebronish, just a little bit awkward, a little bit. Ugh. Okay, that's the first shot. Second shot is, I think I'm going to do that. No, that won't work. How about this? Let's try again. Let's try our first. Oh, logo it's almost three. a logo three, and it labricked. We tried to bank, bank that in, Skip. Okay, tried to try. bank it yeah, in yeah. from the logo. And then a little bit of an awkward jumper that it was in and out. It labricked. Boing, it, was in boing, 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 boing. it was in It didn't have enough touch on it. But that's what we tell you. If the rim, you don't like it, spit it out. And he missed a couple of free throws, but he did make three. So he's three out of five, which is hmm, now we're, we're at that 60, 75%. 75%. I want two yeah. cases, 75% right now. Seriously? It's right now. Okay, the, I got to get you on the record. I, I want to pin this down. He has to shoot 75% or better. Yes. You're gonna go down this path again. I'm how many paths? How many easy free cases? I'm going have I down made? it again. How many cases? Make a lot of yourself. Five. Five cases. Five cases. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you. I start off right. I start off plus five <laughs> cases in this NBA season. Thank you very much. We'll okay. track that closely all year. He wound up at what was it, 69 percent? He's gonna be seventy. He's gonna be seventy-five plus easy. Seventy-five plus. He looked a little shaky at the free throw line. For once, LeBron James did not speak after the game, and that surprised me a little bit because, to your point, he did come back in in the second quarter, and he started to get it going. But the first shot that he made, if we could see that in the second quarter, was still a little bit awkward, like it was a little, what? like he had to really push to get up a little bit. This is a straight fadeaway on Aiton, actually. Ugh. And he made it. Yeah, and that's that's that one-legged step back that Dirk made famous. Ugh. Wow. I, I, I didn't I didn't feel a lot of lift on that. Like he was really having to work to get mm -hmm. get up a little, get get the one foot jump on now, it. On a one foot skip, you ain't really trying to jump. You're just trying to get separation between you and the defender. Okay. Well, he did make that. And then the team took off on a run that was just on they they went on a 43 to 16 run. Yep. Everybody was clicking. All of a sudden Phoenix had gone up 20 to 7 mm -hmm. and and they went as they they made six of their next 30 attempts at right. that point so it was just one of those weird preseason games with big swings back and forth and mm -hmm. back and forth which brings me to the starting lineup last night i will remind everybody there was no kcp he had hip soreness there was no caruso as in alex caruso because he had hip soreness and did not try both players are said to be probably going to play on friday night okay. when they play their last preseason game mm -hmm. so schroeder was in the starting lineup it's a weird mix to me because he is a point guard by trade right and he made it clear in his opening salvo to the southern california media the laker media that he's there's no more bench for him he is a starter and that he got assurances from the lakers when he chose to sign with the lakers that he would be a starter are you buying that because i i don't know about this no will will kuzma gladly come off the bench you saw what he did last night he had 23 he he, he played by far the most minutes he played twice as many more than twice as many minutes as lebron yeah. plus the facts yep it's hard to see a scenario when KCP goes to the bench after starting on a championship winning team. Let's okay. Get, we treat it like college. We tell you what you want to hear. Oh, yes, yeah, son, you can play quarterback. Yeah, you can play running mm -hmm. back until we get you to sign on the dotted line. And then we might put you at D line. Mm. So we got you now. So I do agree with you on this point. <laughs> There's one and only one point guard on this team, and it's LeBron James. And as, as Frankie V, your coach, says, He's, he's been the point guard on every team he's yes. ever played on. So what's, I, I've always said, that's his natural position. He right. was born to be the point guard. Yes. He was born to bring the ball up the floor and initiate the offense. And then he was also born to score the basketball, which he can do. But it's usually within the confines of something that he initiates. And that's the skill. The guy has been the point guard on every team since he's mm -hmm. walked into the NBA, so 17 yeah, straight since years. he walked onto a basketball court. So 17 yeah. straight years, and for the first time in his career, Skip, he led the NBA in assists. And now somebody's going to come to him and say, nah, bro, we want you off the ball. Mm. Really? Mm. So 
Schroeder's a, a tough young man, and that's what I like about him. He is full of himself. He believes in himself, maybe to a fault, but that's what made him great coming off the bench for Oklahoma City. He comes in like, I, I'm a starter. Watch what I can do, right? right? Mm -hmm. So he's got that sort of edge to his attitude, and yet...